Welcome to another very exciting tutorial at LiveLinkTraining.com. My name is Ken Fisher. In this series of videos, we're going to be having a brief overview of the brand new Photoshop Elements 15. Yes, Adobe has updated its beginner friendly Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements editing software. Now Elements 15 adds touchscreen editing, batch adjustments, enhanced search functions and a tool to edit facial features. New smart tags help identify key features in images and are applied automatically. So if you search for cat or holiday, its enhanced search facility will identify these photos in your collections. Now borrowing from Photoshop CC's FaceAware Liquify technology, Elements also gets a tool to help turn frowns into smiles and fix squinting eyes. Quick edit and organizer modes gain touch compatibility and it's now possible to apply instant fix edits to batches of photos. So without further delay, let's dive in. The first thing we need to do is obviously open the program and there is an icon, a shortcut put on the desktop uh, when you install the software. So I'll just go along and I'll double click on that. And that'll open up the welcome screen. Now from here you can link to the photo editor, to the organizer or to the video editor. Now this is Premiere Elements, the companion application to Photoshop Elements. But we won't be looking at this in these videos. Now by default when you open up Elements you will get this welcome screen that allows you, like I say, to go to the photo editor or the organizer. You can change the default setting on this. If you go to the little cog wheel here and it says on start always launch. So you can always launch the welcome screen, the photo editor or the organizer. I'll just leave it set to welcome screen for the minute and click done. Now Photoshop Element uses a catalogue system. Now a catalogue is simply a database that keeps track of all the photos and other media files that you import into Photoshop Elements. Now you can set up multiple catalogues. So for example, if you're a wedding photographer, you could set up a different catalogue for each client to keep them separate. Or you could just work with one master catalogue for all your photos and all your media files. There isn't a wrong answer, it's whatever works for you. So, let's set up a, a couple of catalogues to see how it works. So let's say that I have got some personal photos that I want to keep separate from my work ones. So, okay, first we've got to go and open the organizer. So I'm gonna go down and click on the organizer button here. And here we've got the organizer open. I just want to draw your attention, if you look down bottom right here, you'll see something that says My Catalogue. This is telling you what the name of the catalogue is that's been created. And like I said earlier, if you put images in one catalogue, then they, you won't be able to search them. They won't be available unless you open that specific catalogue. Now, I'll need to manage my catalogues. So I'm going to go up to the File menu and I'm going to select Manage Catalogues. Now here's the Manage Catalogues box and you can see I've got one that I've, I created earlier called Work Files but the current catalogue is called My Catalogue which is what you can see down here. So if I wanted to create a separate catalogue for my personal files then what I could do is go up to the New button and type in let's say Personal and click OK. Now I'll just skip this because it's asking me to import things which I don't want to do at the moment. But if you now look down at the bottom right again you'll see now I'm in the personal catalogue. So this is a completely separate catalogue to the, um, the work files and the original one. So if I go and have a look at this, so we've got file manage catalogues again. So I've now got my catalogue which is the original one that, that Photoshop Elements set up when it was installed. I've got my personal catalogue, which is the current one, which is if I import now, it will go into my personal catalogue. And I've got work files catalogue. If I want to swap between them, 
I just click on it and I can click open. And there we are, we're now in the work files catalog. Now if you want to delete a catalog, if you've got fed up with it, if you've no more use for it, then we can remove the catalog, which is deleting it. But you can't delete the current catalog. So if I go into file and manage catalogs again, you can see that work files is the current catalog. So at the moment I can't delete that one. But I could delete, let's say, my personal catalog. If that was something I've got fed up with now, if I click on it, I get the remove button. And if I click on that, do you want to delete the catalog name personal? Then yes, I do. And it's gone. And I'll now leave myself in the work files catalog because during the course, I'm going to be using some some media files that I really don't want mixing up with the rest of my images. So I'm going to leave them in a specific catalog called work files. And I'm already in it. That's the current one. So I can just click cancel and I can start me importing. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I, hope, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments underneath the video. If you like the video, please share it with a friend and click the subscribe button so when I upload a new video, you are the first one to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.